there's no way I could have copied all these settings from one camera to another by hand because it's something that I just set, I leave it that way and never touch it again. So I needed a quick way to get settings from one camera to the other. I got a new camera. Well, it's not really new and it's not really mine. It's actually a rental. I own a camera, but sometimes I need two. But just because you have two identical cameras doesn't mean you're not gonna have any issues matching footage. You also need to make sure that they both have identical settings. I have my personal camera set up exactly how I want it. However, with a camera that's not mine, I'm gonna have to change all those settings manually. There's a quicker way to be able to copy the settings from one camera to another. So that way I can take all the custom settings that I've changed over the years, I can just copy them to this other camera and not have to worry about missing one little setting that would make it harder for the footage from one camera to match the footage from the other camera. Most cameras should have a way to back up and save your settings, but of course the exact steps will vary. To get started, insert a blank SD card into the camera with the settings you want to copy. Go to the setup menu, Scroll down and choose Save Restore Camera Setting. Choose Save. Choose New File. Choose Change the File Name if you want to give it a more meaningful name. You can use up to eight letters and numbers. Choose Set and your settings are saved to a file. If you want to keep these settings safe in case something happens, copy the file to your computer. To apply these settings to another camera, insert your SD card. From the Save Restore Camera Setting menu, choose Load. Choose the file you just created, and now you have two cameras with identical settings. Some settings cannot be saved or loaded. More about why that's important later. When you're all done with the camera, you can also reset all the settings to their defaults. I guess the biggest downside of renting a camera is that eventually you have to return it. Well, here I am. Time to give the camera back. It's actually the first time I've used two identical cameras for a shoot. A lot of times I just use uh, another camera that I happen to have, like my cell phone. A couple of things I learned. One, my camera had a different firmware version than the rental camera. There was no issues. If there was a greater difference between the firmware versions, this may not have worked so well. I was concerned about privacy because there's some settings on my camera that I might not want to copy to a rental camera. Same reason why even though the rental house is kind enough to provide SD cards, I always use my own. Because I've used my phone, my tablet, etc., to connect to my own camera through Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi information is stored on my camera. Thankfully, these settings are actually independent of the rest of the camera settings. So just a little privacy concern that turned out to not be a concern because those settings are handled differently. Be nice to have two cameras, but frankly, I just don't need it. So rental is a great option when you need a camera you don't own or you need multiple cameras. And support your local rental house. This is actually the best price, better than anything online, and it's supporting local business.